What is up YouTube? This is Big Bernie Cool back here after maybe like I think two week hiatus it was. I am back. Just like Batista. Like a year ago. Yeah, it's close to a year ago since he came back. But um I'm here to make a video response to the voice of the voiceless. Earlier he did a video on his First, I think, 10, yeah, first 10 DVDs that he had in his DVD collection. He has a huge collection right now, so go check out his channel. But, um, yeah, I think his DVDs ranged back, um, he had them, or he bought them in, like, 2006, a while ago. So, um, yeah, that's pretty long ago for a kid in his teens like me. Or, not really a kid, he's an adult now, but, yeah. And... Um, uh, my DVD collection really only started in 2013, where I started legitly collecting DVDs. That's where I started, started building off it. But as a child, I had a few DVDs. I don't have those specific copies anymore, but I did buy them back eventually later on when I was building my collection. I remember having them, and I wanted them back. So I have those, not the same copies, but I mean, it's like the same event, same DVD pretty much. So I have those back now, so I'm going to do my first five DVDs of my collection, which will include three from 2013 that I got, and two from whenever the hell I got them, like 05, 06. So let's get started here. This is probably, uh, I probably paid too much for this, but at the time, going to Pawn America, I was just finding anything I could find WWE and just buying it. I paid seven bucks for this, I could probably get this for a lot less. But it is Starcade, the Essential Collection. I really like the art on this one. I think it was still sealed as well. And it's got all that. Three disc set. It has a documentary on the first disc that uh, uh, I guess I liked. I learned a lot about WCW, the early territorial process it was before that. Um, some of the same themes you saw in WC Rise and Fall of WCW. But this one more focused on the Starcade. He talks a lot about Magnum P.I. on here, Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes, people like that. And I've probably only seen half the matches on here. But I, uh, I bought this, took this home right before I watched it. Pretty good watch, I guess. Not worth seven bucks, though. Another one. Next one I got, same day, same pickup. You could probably even go back my old in time, or my old videos. Oh, God. When I had my webcam and it was all shitty and everything and... I was really bad at talking, so yeah, you could probably go find that video somewhere. Here's my Jake the Snake Roberts copy. I paid six bucks for this, so and so I guess, and includes the three books right here. Have not read any of those, so six bucks I guess at the time I thought it was a good deal, but I was again I was just looking for anything WWE, so there's that, and then this one. You see a lot of stuff from this on the network series of the uh, Monday Night Wars. And they've got like 20 episodes on that now. I recently watched, what was it, the... Um, it was the fall of WCW part where it started becoming really shitty and had a lot of Russo stuff on it. So, yeah, this one's only like, I think, maybe like an hour long. Well, running time, three hours, my ass. I don't know, I can't remember. I remember watching this, but I can't remember specific parts. Actually, I do remember seeing the Eric Bischoff interview that's on, like, everything WCW. It has the Raw Tron in the background that's just, like, going through testing and everything. And they must have recorded a ton of footage from him that day. So, yeah, here's the Monday Night War. And then these were all in the same pickup on the same day when I first decided, hey, I'm going to build a collection off these. So there's these three all from early 2013 that I bought them obviously they were used before that and then you get to my stuff from 2005 I had four I think four DVDs when I was a wrestling fan as a kid from like 2005 2007 and um, I sold them away gave them away or something when I was out of wrestling from like 2008 to 2010 and I eventually bought these back obviously so here we go no Mercy, 2005. Eddie Guerrero's last pay-per-view. Man, I want, really want to get a poster of this cover. I, I don't know why, but I just love this cover. 
Um, also on here, famously, you have Undertaker versus Randy Orton in the handicap casket match, in which the Undertaker in the casket is lit on fire, and eventually he comes back, gets crashed into the SmackDown set, and then comes back at Survivor Series later. It's yeah, an epic feud between Orton and uh, uh, Undertaker, one of my favorites as a kid. As you can tell, I was a huge Undertaker mark as a kid. So, yeah, here's one of them. Oh, and uh, one thing I forgot to talk about. It also had Bobby Lashley versus Simon Dean in a, like, loser has to eat a 20 burger, at least 20 burgers. And uh, throughout the night, after Simon Dean lost, um, Bobby Lashley's just reminding him, are you going to eat the damn burgers? It was pretty funny. And I think during the match, burgers had its own entrance coming in. Someone was just carrying it. It was funny. So, yeah, Simon Dean was probably one of my favorite jobbers back then. So, yeah, and obviously Batista, Eddie Guerrero, just the cover again. And then probably my favorite DVD of my childhood, probably my favorite Undertaker DVD they've ever came out with. Because it doesn't just focus on WrestleMania and the streak. It focuses how how awesome he was at reinventing himself during what his... What, this 2005 it came out, so it must have been almost 15 year career how he reinvented himself so much and he has had awesome feuds. It's Tombstone, The History of The Undertaker. It's my first DVD I ever had and I watched this a ton of times. Um, you had when he beat Hulk Hogan with the help of Ric Flair obviously at Survivor Series 91. Uh, you had his, a lot of his Mankind stuff, uh, his Shawn Michaels, Kane, even uh, matches with The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin's on here. They have his John Cena uh, a feud from Vengeance 2003. And um, even him coming back to face Kane at WrestleMania 20, uh, becoming the Phenom once again. And um, yeah, this is three discs of pure awesomeness front and back. I'm probably going to watch this again, actually. I feel like I'm going to watch this again. I'm really tempted now. I really don't stay true to my word when I'm going to watch stuff because I would have watched the whole network by now. But I really think I should watch this again. I just felt like this is awesome. So, yeah. These two are the ones I have bought back. I am in the process of probably... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably buy No Way Out... 2006, which I used to have when I was a kid, that had the Undertaker versus Kurt Angle match where Undertaker does the Hell's Gate and gets pinned, and I was pissed as a child seeing that. And then also I had Great American Bash 2005 with Undertaker versus Muhammad Hassan, and Undertaker does the last ride to Muhammad Hassan. You never see him again. It also had the Eddie Guerrero versus uh, Rey Mysterio feud on it, which I was really interested in. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get those two DVDs back so I'd have my full four DVD collection from when I was a child all back now. And um, yeah, so that's it for my five uh, earliest DVDs of my collection. And, um, and this is the part where I announce the contest or giveaway. So we got the Royal Rumble coming up. I, I didn't watch Raw last week to be honest. So, I think it's either going to be 30 man or 40 man. I don't know. I heard rumors it was going to be 40 man earlier last year. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much going to be a game that if you correct the. Or, what the fuck was I saying? If you correctly guess the number that the uh, entrant comes in at that wins the Rumble, you'll win a DVD from me. And what you're going to have to do is subscribe to me, first of all. Second of all, you're going to have to comment on this video or another, uh, maybe like a Facebook thing. Add me on Facebook, Bernie Roger. That's my name on there. And then uh, I probably will stay away from Twitter. Just comment on this, what number you think will win the Royal Rumble. Uh, you get one number, you cannot guess anyone else's number on there. So if you do win, I will contact you. Or if your person does win, I will contact you. I will send you a free DVD that will be a surprise. So, yeah, I hope you guys 
really participate in this. Please subscribe to me. Please like this video. Please subscribe to Voice of the Voiceless on a bomb-ass video idea. So, um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. There we go.